Welcome to the University of North Dakota's 2021 Spring Commencement Ceremony for the School of Law. This telecast is streaming live from the UND Chester Fritz Auditorium. With safety in mind, only our graduates are seated in the auditorium. We welcome family and friends who are watching online. The Dean of the School of Law, Michael McGinnis, will preside over the ceremony. He will be joined by the President of the University of North Dakota, Dr. Andrew Armacost. Congratulations to all the graduates and their families. Please be seated. Warm greetings to you this morning, both the candidates sitting with us in the auditorium today and everyone, candidates, family and friends, faculty and staff, who is joining us today by live stream. As Dean of the University of North Dakota School of Law, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to our commencement ceremony for the UND Law Class of 2021. 
Joining me in our platform group are Andrew Armacost, President of the University of North Dakota, and the Honorable John Jensen, Chief Justice of the North Dakota Supreme Court, and today's commencement speaker. To our honored graduation candidates, we are so excited to have this special opportunity to recognize and celebrate your remarkable achievements. You have not only persevered admirably through the hard work and diligent study necessary for success in law school, but also overcome the many challenges that have accompanied the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, both here at UND and throughout the world. You persisted with grit and determination in attaining your legal education at UND Law, and in doing so, you were supported by our faculty, our staff, and your fellow students. Your family members and friends have been with you throughout this educational marathon and given you both practical help and words of support when you needed them. We wish that these special people, your family and friends, our faculty and staff, could have been here with you to celebrate this milestone moment in person with us. But they are here with us now by live stream to witness this great occasion and to celebrate your accomplishments with tremendous pride. I encourage you to find an opportunity to thank these special people, whether they be near or far, who have been an important part of your journey. You may also have loved ones who have supported you and strengthened you by their efforts and their example over the years who have now passed away, but who are with you today in spirit. I encourage you to take some time today to reflect with gratitude on the positive impacts that these loved ones have continued to have on your life and the contributions they have made to your achievements. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the chair of the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education, Nick Hacker. Mr. Hacker is the CEO of Guarantee and Title Company, and he is a 2005 graduate of UND and served in the North Dakota Senate. Here is Mr. Hacker. Faculty, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, this graduating class of fighting hawks. On behalf of the State Board of Higher Education, I'd like to congratulate you on your achievements. Although you've undoubtedly faced one of the most challenging times of your lives, made more challenging by a global pandemic, here you are at this major milestone. As chairman of the state board, it's with great pride that we continue to hold these commencement ceremonies where we celebrate all your hard work that's come to fruition. Throughout changing times, we on the board continue to have pride in the accomplishments made by all of UND's employees because we know their dedication brings results in student success. No matter what path you take now, we are confident that you'll do well because you've proven you can meet the high standards that have been demanded of you here at the University of North Dakota. Whatever your next step, you're moving on from a big phase of your life to new challenges and opportunities. Thank you for placing your trust in our system and UND. We applaud your accomplishments and are confident that the education you've received will give you a competitive edge in your future. Your readiness to take responsibility for yourselves has led to your success here today. Congratulations to this year's University of North Dakota graduates. Many thanks to Mr. Hacker for those supportive remarks. Thank you. It is now my honor and my pleasure to introduce to you the Honorable John J. Jensen, Chief Justice of the North Dakota Supreme Court, who will deliver your commencement address. Chief Justice Jensen was born in Grand Forks and is a 1987 graduate of Minnesota State University, Mankato, and a 1990 graduate of the University of North Dakota School of Law. After graduating from UND Law, he serves as a judicial law clerk for Chief Justice Ralph Erikstad of the North Dakota Supreme Court. He engaged in private practice in Grand Forks as a trial attorney and subsequently as a tax counsel for Northwest Airlines and as a special assistant attorney general for several North Dakota departments, boards, and universities. Then in 2012, with his spouse, Linda Beta, he started a new law firm in Grand Forks, focusing on estate planning, commercial litigation, and tax litigation. In 2013, he was appointed to the district court by Governor Jack Dalrymple. 
He served as a trial judge in the Northeast Central Judicial District and was elected to that position in 2016. The following year, he was appointed to the North Dakota Supreme Court by Governor Doug Burgum and was subsequently elected to a full 10-year term. In 2019, he was elected Chief Justice of the court by vote of the District Court judges and Supreme Court justices. And in 2020, he was re-elected for a full five-year term as Chief Justice. Chief Justice Jensen, the members of the class of 2021 selected you as their choice to deliver the commencement address, and I heartily concurred in the wisdom of their decision. The breadth and depth of your professional experience from private practice through your current service on the North Dakota Supreme Court provide our students with an example of a career arc to which they themselves could aspire. Additionally, your recent election to serve as Chief Justice reflects the trust and confidence that district court judges and your fellow justices have placed in you. And our graduation candidates are very well served to hear your advice on how they could engender similar sentiments from their peers as they begin their professional journey. As the only law school in North Dakota, we share the values and character of our state, and we have a special obligation to serve our state. Our program of legal education emphasizes the highest standards of professionalism and ethical conduct, fosters an atmosphere of cooperation and collaboration, and instills a strong commitment to community and public service. Your distinguished service throughout your career demonstrates your strong commitment to these same ideals. The class of 2021, and indeed all of us here at the UND School of Law, are honored that you accepted our invitation to deliver today's commencement address. I am therefore very pleased to welcome to the podium of our commencement ceremony for the class of 2021, the Honorable Chief Justice John Jensen. Good morning. Thank you for the invitation to speak at your ceremony today. As a 1990 graduate of the University of North Dakota School of Law, the receipt of your invitation to speak today is an honor. Before we started, I paged through the program and saw many familiar North Dakota hometowns. Fargo, Hedinger, Grand Forks, Bismarck, St. John, Hannaford, Animus, Max, Devil's Lake, Berthold, Rolla, West Fargo, Minot, Mandan, Linton, and it appears the annexation of Moorhead, um, as you'll notice in the uh, program, that Moorhead is listed as a North Dakota city now. Those of you who call North Dakota home know what a special place this can be. If you have decided to stay, I am happy you have decided to remain in a part of our great state. If you have decided to pursue, pursue dreams outside the state, know that you are always welcome home. There are other hometowns in the program as well, some familiar to me and others less so. Places like Albany, St. Louis, Clearbrook, Winnipeg, Humble, Maricopa, Castle Rock, Reno, Castro Valley, Minneapolis, Gary, Ellensburg, Wells, Chicago, Spring Park, New Folden, Gunnison, Fergus Falls, Dent, Blaine, Billings, and Holly. For those of you who have not called North Dakota home, welcome, and feel free to stay. Our economy is sound, with a solid base of agriculture and oil, with a well-funded push to diversify to new technologies. Our practicing bar is welcome and collegial. Our Rural Attorney Initiative, created and funded during this year's legislative session, will provide monetary resources for those of you who wish to serve rural North Dakota. We have exceptional schools. Well, I love this today, today is about you, the graduates of the University of North Dakota School of Law. So I'd like to share with you four lessons that I have learned from breaking windows. Lesson one is to be proud of your achievements and don't define yourself or allow others 
to define you by your mistakes. Accept support and be supportive. The third lesson is be responsible and take responsibility. And the fourth lesson is to keep growing. I've broken a lot of windows in my lifetime. Large windows, small windows, outside, inside. I've used rocks, golf balls, snowballs, and homemade baseballs. The broken windows were the result of negligence, not intent. Well, at least mostly. My history as a window breaker began in grade school. Walking home from school in the fourth grade, I saw several older boys throwing rocks into the back of a dump truck. I joined in. Eventually, a window on the truck was broken and we were confronted by the driver. As if rehearsed, all of the older boys pointed to me. I ran. As you will learn today, it was not the last window I would break, and it is certainly not my last mistake. But looking back, that window provided me with an important lesson. That lesson is to be proud of your achievements, and don't define yourself or allow others to define you by your mistakes. That broken window and my other mistakes don't define who I am. You should not define your life by mistakes, but use your mistakes to make yourself a better person. Resist the temptation to, follow or to allow a mistake to limit your willingness to try, to explore, or to take chances. Do not allow others to define you by your mistakes with their, or with their assumptions. Do not allow others to define you with ne negative rhetoric based exclusively on the fact that their view of the world may be different from your view of the world. You should learn from your mistakes and strive not to repeat them. But mistakes do not define who you are. Instead, celebrate your achievements. Each of you here today experienced challenges in your pursuit of a degree from the University of North Dakota School of Law. Some experience greater challenges than others. We all applaud and celebrate today those of you who have overcome adversity. But today's achievement should not be measured against the experience of others. You have all achieved, and the value of the achievement is equal. To the family members and friends of the graduates who may be watching on the live stream, you can be proud that you support, your support has contributed to today's events. To today's graduates, Today, you are all graduates of the University of North Dakota School of Law. You are law trained. It is a fabulous achievement. Be proud of that achievement and let your achievements define who you are. My history of breaking windows continued. The broken truck window was just to start. I am the youngest of six children. One of the great things about being the youngest of six children, is depending on whether you are on the giving end or the receiving end. With five other siblings, there is always someone around for you to express your frustration. One frequent object of my frustration was my sister Karen, who is the closest in age to me. I did not come here today to give you advice on how to avoid breaking windows. However, when you decide to throw a golf ball at your sister Karen, Make sure the glass patio door between you and your sister Karen is open. Despite being the object of the bouts of my childhood frustration, my sister Karen has become one of my biggest supporters. She shares in my success and is in a unique position to keep me grounded. In return, I try my best to support her. It took me a long time to recognize the value of support and the benefit of returning that support. Stop and take note of those closest to you, whether that is a family member, a significant other, or a coworker. Surround yourself with people who care about you and the people you care about. The ones who offer constructive criticism without demanding you change your own values. The ones willing to be kind when you are hurting and gently push you forward when you are in pain. They will at times frustrate you you will at times get angry with them, and they will get angry with you. But you will recognize the people who support you as the ones that make you feel safe, comfortable, and important. If you surround your people with whom you care, people who genuinely want the best for you, 
people who support you, and in turn, you provide support to, your life will be better. The next window breaking I would, share, I would like to share was in high school. Shortly after a spring thro- uh, snow, I threw a snowball through my church pastor's window. I did not harbor any particular animosity towards Pastor Berglund. It was the throw of opportunity. It was, in my memory, the absolute best, the most incredible throw I have ever made. It was a long, arching throw to the smack-dab center of that window. It was wet, heavy spring snow, and that snowball went clean through the window. While I wouldn't do it again, this this event involved one of the best throws of my life. Growing up, I played a lot of baseball. And if I could have consistently thrown as far as I did, as accurately as I did when I broke that particular window, I would not be speaking to you today as the Chief Justice of the North Dakota Supreme Court. I would be speaking to you as an inductee of the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. But this wasn't grade school. I didn't run. I walked directly into the church to report my misdeed. Maybe it was increased maturity, Perhaps it was the belief that Pastor Berglund was compelled to show me forgiveness. You will never regret taking responsibility for the things you do, good or bad. You will not win every motion or every case. Be the first to tell your client the result of every proceeding, good or bad. Pick up the phone. You can send an email or a letter later. If you have done your best, if you have been diligent in your preparation and honest in your advice, your client will understand. One of the most satisfying things you will experience as a lawyer is when your client or your employer, after an adverse ruling, thanks you for the hard work and the representation. You will hear gratitude frequently in your practice when you experience success. Receiving gratitude when the result was adverse is confirmation that you have fulfilled your responsibility to your client. You can also be given responsibility. You are now law trained. You will have responsibilities to many people, to clients or employers. You'll be responsible to give honest advice, not the advice that they would like to hear. Accept that responsibility. Direct them away from poor decisions or the pursuit of an improper course of action. You will also have responsibility to the profession. You are now law trained. You are responsible not only for your own reputation, but the image of our profession as a whole. Be a guardian of our profession. Pursue just causes. Serve the public by practicing law and giving to your community, both professionally and in non-professional roles. You owe a responsibility to yourself. You're responsible for your own health and happiness. Others may participate in your life and add to your joy, but it is your responsibility to care for your physical well-being and your mental well-being. Being responsible for your own well-being includes asking for help when help is necessary. Being responsible to yourself also means to do what is right, even when no one is looking. Be strong. Accept blame and do not blame others for your misfortune. Be a champion, not a victim. The next broken window I will discuss today was a building where you spent a significant amount of the past several years. This is the University of North Dakota School of Law. It was the first semester of our first year and it was finals. We were all stressed. A tightly compressed ball of paper wrapped in tape worked well for a baseball, a form of stress release. As we got the hang of using a broom handle for a bat, we added more tape and more compression to the ball to try and increase the velocity of our pitches. Increased velocity, increased weight. We had transformed paper and tape into something very close to a real baseball. Real baseballs will break the window of the dean's office when you throw a fast pitch past John Bacchus. John was a fellow classmate, is a successful North Dakota lawyer, and thankfully Mr. Hacker is not here today because he also previously served as a president of the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education. 
There are lessons to be learned from breaking windows, both individually and collectively. Individually, I've learned to define my life by achievements, not mistakes, and to let others define me with, not to let others define me with their assumptions or their perspectives. I have learned to accept support and be supportive of others. I have learned to take responsibility. Breaking the dean's office window tied all of those events together. It has now been 55 years of breaking windows, and during that time, I've gone from running away from the sound of breaking glass to expect, accepting the responsibility of breaking windows. The collective lesson is recognition of the need to keep growing. Although I'm certain she was not talking about broken, or breaking windows, Mary Tyler Moore said the following, take chances, make mistakes. That's how you grow. Pain nourishes your courage. You have to fail to practice being brave. I've stopped throwing rocks into the back of dump trucks. I rarely get mad at Karen. I remember the great, with great fondness the most incredible snowball throw of my life. And I still smile when I think of throwing a fastball by the future president of the State Board of Higher Education. Each of you will have opportunities to achieve. Sometimes you will succeed and sometimes you won't. When you do succeed, be proud of your achievement. You will have opportunities to accept support and to support others. Surround, with peop peop surround yourself with people who care and those you care about. Your life will be better. Take responsibility and accept responsibility when it is given. Continue to grow, take chances, and make mistakes. Again, thank you for inviting me here today, and congratulations. Thank you, Chief Justice Jensen, for that tremendously meaningful and inspiring address for our candidates for graduation. I hope that you will all take those words of advice to heart and benefit from those insights. The next portion of our ceremony involves the conferring of academic degrees to the law school graduates. President Armacost. Good morning. The candidates for the degrees in the School of Law will be presented by Dean Michael McGinnis. Will the candidates please rise? President Armacost, these candidates have completed all the requirements for the degree of Juris Doctor. I, therefore, have the honor of presenting them to you for the conferring of this degree. As indicated in the program, one of these candidates has also completed all of the requirements for the degree of Master of Public of Business Administration in the combined Juris Doctor MBA program. I have the honor of presenting that candidate to you for the conferring of that degree. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the North Dakota State Board of Higher Education, I confer upon you the degree of Juris Doctor with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. And for you who has completed the combined Juris Doctor slash MBA program, I also confer upon you the degree of Master of Business Administration. Candidates, please be seated and come forward at the direction of the commencement marshals. It is now my pleasure to introduce two great members of our UND Law team, Brad Parrish, Assistant Dean for Student Services at the School of Law, who are graduating, ceremony, sorry, graduating students selected for the honor of serving as today's commencement proctor. He will be our stage announcer and read the names of each of our candidates and Pam Shea, Director of Student Life, who will be our stage director. Martha Jane Omdahl.
Cassidy Rose Bannis. The degree of Master of Business Administration is also being conferred upon Cassidy this morning. Ashley Megan Boomgarden. William Logan Caldwell. Kristen Angela Clo. Elise Adele Fisher. Elizabeth Jane Fordall. Lacey Renee Garrison. Marissa Gunhouse. Joseph Douglas Hackman. Tatiana Jean Hamilton. Rachel Michelson Hendrickson. Catherine Rose Jund. John Klein. Amanda Marie Clementsrud. Sean Zachary Kraut. Isaac Omira Lees. Levi Liebel. Chenpreet Kaur Loti.
Dragasa Militich. Ashley Ann Olson. Christopher Perron. Christian Lee Ponzetti. Noah Joseph Poss. Magdalene Marie Reese. Christopher Michael Rocky. Anthony Romano. Samantha Kaya Sherman. Mia May Troyer. Morgan Elizabeth Tuss. Ashley Marie Vander Wall. Morgan Elizabeth Wentz. It is now my privilege to respectfully invite to the podium Andrew Armacost, President of the University of North Dakota, to offer his remarks for our graduates. Okay, thanks, Dean McGinnis. And uh, you're awfully quiet. How about a round of applause for yourselves? This is a big day. Congratulations. We even got a whoop. That's great. This is, um, this is a day where we're all extraordinarily proud of you uh, for all that you've done and the hard work that you've put forth uh, in your program. And um, I'm just delighted to have met um, our Chief Justice. Um, thank you so much for your, your wonderful, inspiring words and the challenge to each of our graduates today. How about a round of applause for Chief Justice Jensen? And we were talking backstage before the ceremony, and the Chief Justice was commenting on the connectedness of graduates of our school of law. 
And uh, in his remarks today, he, he talked about surrounding yourself with good people, people who are going to lead you down the right path. And in choosing to come to the University of North Dakota School of Law, you started your legal careers exactly that way. You chose to come with a cohort of fellow students and chose to join a group of faculty members who would set you on that path to achieve exactly what he challenged you to do. And you are on this never-ending quest for truth and justice. And I can't think of a better way to begin that journey than here in Grand Forks. And if we think about the university motto, lux et lex, I don't know if you speak Latin, but stands for light and law. And I can't think of a more appropriate motto for the beginning of your careers. You will be the light as you follow the law. You will set the example for what it means to be a school of law from the University of North Dakota graduate and imbuing in your careers all of the characteristics, the ethics, and the values that you've learned here at UND. My challenge to you as you go forth is to maintain the connections that you formed in this close-knit group of folks. And as the Chief Justice challenged you, continue to grow those connections. Practice the law through the examples that you've seen from each other, but most importantly, from the professors who have gotten you here. And then finally, my third challenge to you is to show gratitude for all those who helped you get to this point and continue showing gratitude to those who influence you throughout your career. This is what it means to be a graduate of the University of North Dakota School of Law. Please accept my congratulations on behalf of this entire community from the faculty and staff from the school and let us honor you today as we bestow this praise upon you. So congratulations, class of 2021. We're extraordinarily proud of you. Go out to the world and do amazing things. Well done. Thank you, President Armacost, for those very encouraging and inspiring remarks, and thank you for your tremendous leadership of the University of North Dakota over this past year uh, and your support for the School of Law and all the things that we've been doing to successfully make our way through the challenges um, that we faced, so thank you. These times that we have faced together since March of 2020 have often been very hard and trying ones. The extraordinary challenges to the North Dakota legal profession and the UND School of Law stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic have tested our wits, our wisdom, and our wills in ways that we could not have expected when it began. Amidst these struggles, however, I have also witnessed tremendous strength of spirit and common cause among our School of Law students, staff, and faculty, including the members of our class of 2021. I have great confidence as your dean that as you carry forward with your professional careers, you will continue to courageously face the challenges before you. And I ask you to reach back to us as you venture forward so that we can continue to encourage you and help you on your path. Members of the class of 2021, I am truly proud of you. And I offer my heartfelt congratulations as you become the newest alumni of the UND School of Law. As our commencement ceremony now draws to a close, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our UND leadership, including President Armacost, Interim Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Debbie Storrs, and Director of Safety, Terry Wynn, for their kind and generous support for the School of Law having this commencement ceremony with our students gathered with us here this morning. I am also grateful for the wonderful contributions made to this event by UND ceremonies and events, especially Fred Whitman, Monica Ewald, and Nicole Morris, without whose ideas and efforts this occasion would not have been possible. And finally, a few brief reminders. Graduates, after exiting the auditorium, we invite you to pause briefly for a class photo in the first floor lobby. Please keep your face covering in place until asked to remove it by the photographer, and then put it back on after the photograph is taken. 
Consistent with our protocols for this event, please proceed outdoors after the group photo is taken. Hand sanitizer will be available at the exits and we encourage you to take some as you leave. Outside the building, you can gather safely to congratulate and celebrate with your classmates. But before you head out, please stop by one of the tables that UND Campus Catering has set up in the lobby to grab a boxed brunch to enjoy outside. And with that, I close by thanking everyone for joining us for today's commencement ceremony for the UND Law Class of 2021 and for our supporting our outstanding graduates. And all my best wishes to the Class of 2021 for flourishing in your personal lives and in your professional futures. Thank you. <laughs>